the transforming growth factor beta signaling pathway is involved in many cellular processes in both the adult organism and the developing embryo including cell growth, cell differentiation, apoptosis, cellular homeostasis and other cellular functions. In spite of the wide range of cellular processes that the TGFI squared signaling pathway regulates, the process is relatively simple. TGFI squared superfamily ligands bind to a type 2 receptor, which recruits and phosphorylates a type I receptor. The type I receptor then phosphorylates receptor regulated SMADs, which can now bind the COSMAD SMAD4. RSMAD COSMAD complexes accumulate in the nucleus where they act as transcription factors and participate in the regulation of target gene expression. Mechanism equals ligand binding equals the TGF beta superfamily of ligands include bone morphogenetic proteins, growth and differentiation factors, anti-MAR1 cortilorean hormone, activin, nodal and TGFI squared S. Signaling begins with the binding of a TGF beta superfamily ligand to a TGF beta type 2 receptor. The type 2 receptor is a serine 309 receptor kinase, which catalyzes the phosphorylation of the type I receptor. Each class of ligand binds to a specific type 2 receptor. In mammals there are seven known type I receptors and five type 2 receptors. There are three activins, activin A, activin B and activin AB. Activins are involved in embryogenesis and osteogenesis. They also regulate many hormones including pituitary, gonadal and hypothalamic hormones as well as insulin. They are also nerve cell survival factors. The BMPs bind to the bone morphogenetic protein receptor type 2. They are involved in a multitude of cellular functions including osteogenesis, cell differentiation, anterior-posterior axis specification, growth, and homeostasis. The TGF beta family include TGFI squared 1, TGFI squared 2, TGFI squared 3. Like the BMPs, TGF betas are involved in embryogenesis and cell differentiation, but they are also involved in apoptosis, as well as other functions. They bind to TGF beta receptor type 2. Nodal binds to active in A receptor, type IIBACVR2B. It can then either form a receptor complex with active in A receptor, type IB or with active in A receptor, type IC. When the receptor ligand binding occurs via local action, this is classified as paracrine signaling. Equals receptor recruitment and phosphorylation equals. The TGF beta ligand binds to a type 2 receptor dimer, which recruits a type I receptor dimer forming a heterotetrameric complex with the ligand. These receptors are serine 309 kinase receptors. They have a cystine rich extracellular domain, a transmembrane domain, and a cytoplasmic serine 309 rich domain. The GS domain of the type I receptor consists of a series of about 30 serine glycine repeats. The binding of a TGF beta family ligand causes the rotation of the receptors so that their cytoplasmic kinase domains are arranged in a catalytically favorable orientation. The type 2 receptor phosphorylates serine residues of the type I receptor, which activates the protein. Equals SMAD phosphorylation equals. There are five receptor regulated SMADs, SMAD1, SMAD2, SMAD3, SMAD5, and SMAD9. There are essentially two intracellular pathways involving these are SMADs. TGF betas, activins, Nodals and some GDFs are mediated by SMAD2 and SMAD3, while BMPs, AMH and a few GDFs are mediated by SMAD1, SMAD5 and SMAD9. The binding of the RSMAD to the type I receptor is mediated by a zinc double finger FYVE domain containing protein. Two such proteins that mediate the TGF beta pathway include SARA and HGS. SARA is present in an early endosome which, by clathrin mediated endocytosis, internalizes the receptor complex. SARA recruits an ASMAD. SARA permits the binding of the RSMAD to the L45 region of the type I receptor. 
SARA orients the RSMAD such that serine residue on its C terminus faces the catalytic region of the type I receptor. The type I receptor phosphorylates the serine residue of the ASMAD. Phosphorylation induces a conformational change in the MH2 domain of the RSMAD and its subsequent dissociation from the receptor complex and SARA. Equals COSMAD binding equals. The phosphorylated RSMAD has a high affinity for a COSMAD and forms a complex with one. The phosphate group does not act as a docking site for COSMAD, rather the phosphorylation opens up an amino acid stretch allowing interaction. Equals transcription equals. The phosphorylated or SMAD COSMAD complex enters the nucleus where it binds transcription promoters cofactors and causes the transcription of DNA. Bone morphogenetic proteins cause the transcription of mRNAs involved in osteogenesis, neurogenesis, and ventral mesoderm specification. TGF betas cause the transcription of mRNAs involved in apoptosis extracellular matrix neogenesis and immune suppression. It is also involved in G1 arrest in the cell cycle. Activin causes the transcription of mRNAs involved in gonadal growth, embryo differentiation and placenta formation. Nodal causes the transcription of mRNAs involved in left and right axis specification, mesoderm and endoderm induction. Pathway regulation the TGF beta signaling pathway is involved in a wide range of cellular process and subsequently is very heavily regulated. There are a variety of mechanisms where the pathway is modulated either positively or negatively. There are agonists for ligands and or SMADs. There are decoy receptors. And or SMADs and receptors are ubiquitinated. Equals ligand agonists antagonists equals, both Chordin and Noggin are antagonists of BMPs. They bind BMPs preventing the binding of the ligand to the receptor. It has been demonstrated that Chordin and Noggin dorsalize mesoderm. They are both found in the dorsal lip of Xenopus and convert otherwise epidermis-specified tissue into neural tissue. Noggin plays a key role in cartilage and bone patterning. Mice Noggin slash have excess cartilage and lack joint formation. Members of the DAD family of proteins also antagonize TGF beta family members. They include Cerberus, Dan, and Gremlin. These proteins contain nine conserved cysteines which can form disulfide bridges. It is believed that Dan antagonizes GDF5, GDF6 and GDF7. Folostatin inhibits activin, which it binds. It directly affects follicle-stimulating hormone secretion. Folostatin also is implicated in prostate cancers where mutations in its gene may preventing it from acting on activin which has anti-proliferative properties. Lefty is a regulator of TGFI squared and is involved in the axis patterning during embryogenesis. It is also a member of the TGF superfamily of proteins. It is asymmetrically expressed in the left side of marine embryos and subsequently plays a role in left-right specification. Lefty acts by preventing the phosphorylation of our SMADs. It does so through a constitutively active TGFI squared type I receptor and through a process downstream of its activation. Drug based antagonists have also been identified, such as SB431542, which selectively inhibits ALK4, ALK5, and ALK7. Equals receptor regulation equals. The transforming growth factor receptor 3 is the most abundant of the TGFI squared receptors yet, it has no known signaling domain. It however may serve to enhance the binding of TGF beta ligands to TGF beta type 2 receptors by binding TGFI squared and presenting it to TGFBR2. One of the downstream targets of TGFI squared signaling, GIPC, binds to its PDZ domain which prevents its proteasomal degradation, which subsequently increases TGFI squared activity. It may also serve as an inhibin co-receptor to activin RII. BMP and activin membrane-bound inhibitor, has a similar extracellular domain as type I receptors. It lacks an intracellular serine 309 protein kinase domain and hence is a pseudoreceptor. It binds to the type I receptor preventing it from being activated. 
it serves as a negative regulator of TGF-beta signaling and may limit TGF-beta expression during embryogenesis. It requires BMP signaling for its expression, FKBP12 binds the GS region of the type I receptor preventing phosphorylation of the receptor by the type II receptors. It is believed that FKBP12 and its homologs help to prevent type I receptor activation in the absence of a ligands, since ligand binding causes its dissociation. Equals RSMAD regulation equals. Role of inhibitory SMADs, there are two other SMADs which complete the SMAD family, the inhibitory SMADs, SMAD6 and SMAD7. They play a key role in the regulation of TGF-beta signaling and are involved in negative feedback. Like other SMADs they have an MH1 and an MH2 domain. SMAD7 competes with other RSMADs with the type I receptor and prevents their phosphorylation. It resides in the nucleus and upon TGF-beta receptor activation translocates to the cytoplasm where it binds the type I receptor. SMAD6 binds SMAD4 preventing the binding of other RSMADs with the COSMAD. The levels of ISMAD increase with TGF-beta signaling suggesting that they are downstream targets of TGF-beta signaling. RSMAD erbiquitination, the E3 erbiquitin protein ligases SMURF1 and SMURF2 regulate the levels of SMADs. They accept erbiquitin from an E2 conjugating enzyme where they transfer erbiquitin to the RSMADs which causes their erbiquitination and subsequent proteasomal degradation. SMURF1 binds to SMAD1 and SMAD5 while SMURF2 binds SMAD1, SMAD2, SMAD3, SMAD6 and SMAD7. It enhances the inhibitory action of SMAD7 while reducing the transcriptional activities of SMAD2. Summary Table External links, Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes TGF-beta Signaling Pathway Map, NUTPATH, a curated resource of signal transduction pathways in humans. References